Tiewaterskloof Dam is on the Rufiersonde Ent, the river without end, near Villiersdorp, Western Cape, South Africa. It was built about 1978 and forms a major component of the Western Cape water supply system. The dam serves for municipal and industrial use, as well as for irrigation purposes. It's the largest of the six major dams in the Western Cape, with a capacity of some 480,000 million litres. There are three water extraction towers, one for drinking water and the other two for industrial and irrigation. But sadly, there's very little water to extract at present and none to spill over the spillway. A period of low rains over several winters up till 2017 has seen the levels drop to less than 13%. That's 87% gone, not there, used up or exported wrapped in apple skins or wine bottles. The water level has dropped by some 15 meters. The dam is widely used for recreation and sailing, but boats are now being launched at almost the bottom of the dam. This guy should be about 12 meters underwater, but instead he's on a beach. The bridge is hardly necessary now. You can see the old road, which probably had a ford or a low-level bridge over a small stream 40 years ago. This should be one huge expanse of water. Instead, it's a huge expanse of sand. It has the skeletal remains of drowned trees sticking up like dinosaur bones. The tragedy and desperation of this situation is alarming, to say the least. This kopi was an island in the middle of the lake. We hear the news about the critically low water levels, but it's only on seeing the actual state of the dam, the physical water level, that it truly brings it home. Has the river come to an end, literally? As I drove away, a few feeble clouds hovered around the area. Hardly hope inspiring for rain, but you never know, and every drop helps. Let's pray for decent rains this winter.